Hey yo, you ready? Let's do it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Fox Chamber, another edition of Fan Rides. We are back with episode 86. And y'all, this one is nice, y'all. I've been getting a lot of uh, verts in lately. And hey, we're going to rock them. We're going to rock them. And check this out. This is a, uh, oh, this one right here is from Landon G. And the G is stand for Got a Fox Body. But uh, it's a 93 summer edition convertible Mustang, canary yellow. I know, hang on a minute, we'll get to that in a second. Wrapped with a gray blue color change. Uh, he had the car for 17 years now. He wanted to change in color, so he decided to have it wrapped. The wrap is temporary and, and will bring it back to its original canary yellow in a couple of years. The car sat in the garage for 10 years due to a blown motor and some other family priorities got his family priorities straight gotta take care of family bro um but in the last eight years or excuse me in the last eight months he's been trying to replace and get everything running back to uh, everything back to normal and getting everything as clean as possible and here's a few cosmetic things that he's done he's put a new top on the bad boy and uh new weather stripping new custom hood new latches a carter custom splitter and that one's nice y'all i'm that splitter is sweet and he has a four lug jnc mesh wheels sprayed uh red tail lights and of course the car is wrapped recaro seats custom steering wheel and a few other things under the hood he says he's got a built 302 with 560 horses to the wheels yes sir uh car is pro charged with a lot of other things done like a cam headers exhaust fuel system etc and he's going back to the shop to do some more engine work and also he's gonna have some car stereo stuff going on with this bad boy as well talking about an alpine double den oh yeah he says the war the car is a work in progress and it'll probably never be finished see landon knows exactly what's up Usually, if you got a Fox body, it's never finished. You'll always find stuff to do on it. You always have something you might want to change. Even if you make a change, you want to change the change that you changed before. But he understands that. So let's start and get off into these picks. We're going to start off with some interior picks and uh, those custom Recaro seats. And wow, y'all, oh, these seats are banging. Oh man, I've only seen these seats a few times in a few different uh, a few different rides. But these seats, I like them. I mean, because he's stepping outside the box. He's putting in something a little bit different than everybody else's Recaro seats. He wants to change it up just a little bit. But I'm seriously digging how he did the inside. Love how it's all blacked out. You know, it just looks good. I love those seats. And, I, and I'm trying to think, I've seen these seats um, something very similar to him at an event I went to. I can't remember which one it was, but his interior looks good. He said he's still doing some changes and stuff like that. Of course, he doesn't have the double den in here just yet, but hopefully Landon, get that 417 Fox double den swap. You will not be disappointed. I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed, but his interior looks great. All blacked out, looking sexy. And moving around to the front, as remember, he said his car is pro charged. What draws your eyes first, right down to the bottom, is that car, that custom Carter splitter that's on there. And then just up above that is the super is the pro charger radiator. Woo! This thing looks good in the front, y'all. I'm telling you. And I love that hood. I love the 03, 04 Cobra hood on a Fox. It just looks phenomenal. Love the look. But as you see, he's got that front end custom out. He's got the clear headlights on this bad boy looking good as well. And that, that car to split on this bad boy, it rocks. Definitely rocks. Profile shot and, 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 and the way it's sitting now with the, with the black wheels on it, I think that's the uh, way he has it right now. But he has a uh, couple other looks to it and we're gonna get to those as well. But check the stance, y'all. That stance 
looks good. Fender the wheel gap, none. And that completes the stance. And you can see that custom Carter splitter is going around there, adding another dimension to the lower side of the car. Yeah, boy, 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 this thing looks good. And this color that he's picked on this thing, that, that wrap that he has on it, and different lighting, is two or three different shades. You know, I'm thinking that this man and sent me two or three different uh, paint jobs. It's one custom wrap on this thing, but in different lighting, this thing is a whole bunch of different colors. But I love this color on this bad boy. This wrap is definitely different than any wrap that you usually get to see. Those mesh wheels, four lug, they look good as well. Uh, what did he say, it was uh, JNC, uh, wire mesh, looks good, love it. And it's got the wing on the back, that complements the uh the convertible in every way now see see the color change from the other one to this one right here you can see more pearl in this one right here and that stance is just is just killing it killing it with the stance new black convertible top on this bad boy oh yeah and it looks good who wouldn't want to cruise around in this bad boy right here as good as this bad boy looks and plus it's going to stay in there a couple of years he's going to rock this for a little while and go back to the original canary yellow and you see right here from the other uh, from the other picture to this one, it has like a, almost a more of a gray look to it. Boy, this, it, it, and it's a color change, of course. So, you know, of course, it's going to change colors in different lighting and different angles and stuff like that. But he did a good job picking this wrap right here out. I'm telling you. And you can get a little better look at that Carter custom splitter on the bad boy. It has it going around the front and down the sides. Now, we're going to show some pictures with the top down. And to me, this bad boy looks better with the top down. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, boy. I like that stance. It's still killer on this bad boy. And he's at, uh, looks like a, maybe a Cars and Coffee uh, meetup. But uh, this bad boy looks good. I love that wrap that's on this car. And the black wheels set it off. Of course, with the black stripe down the side, compliments the black wheels. Looks great. Love it. A little bit lower angle from the same side, just to get a little bit different perspective on how this bad boy looks. And you can see in the rear, what does he have? He has a custom Carter diffuse on this bad boy as well. I want to get another shot of that here in just a few minutes. I don't know how that looks on the back. But y'all, check it out. He's killing it. Straight up killing it. And the color change, check it out. Sitting out by the water, you know, love the backdrop in this shot. Top down, just looking still just as sexy and that hood i love that hood love that hood you know i'm always talking about the the cow hoods one and a half inch two and a half inch cow hood but this hood right here also killer now these are the shots of the car before he put the black wheels on y'all he's still killing it i mean i'm trying to decide which looks better the black wheels or the gold wheels. I mean, cause both of them, both of them are, are, are nice. You know, but the gold wheels seem like it, it pops a little bit more, but the black wheels look maybe a little bit more sinister. Gives it a, a little more sinister look to it. I don't know. Y'all, y'all, y'all tell me down in the comments, which one should land and rock more? The black wheels or the gold wheels? Because both of them, to me, he could switch these bad boys out every couple of months. This car still be, still be killer. But I am definitely digging the gold wheels on this bad boy. And the stance still, look at it. Fender wheel gap, non-existent, sexy, sexy car. Moving around to the back, I wanted to basically show a shot with that, uh, that Carter splitter in the back, how it looks. You know, this thing looks crazy fast with that diffuser on the back. Love it, love it, love it. You know, and plus, with that 560 horses that he's got on this bad boy, you know, he's gonna need something to keep this bad boy straight going down the track or down the road in Mexico, of course. And yes, this thing looks good. I love the, how that wing, that wing definitely complements this bad boy. Cause without the wing on a convertible, sometimes you need a little bit something back there just to, uh, just to enhance the look. And to me, that wing, that wing right there, it does the trick. Uh, shot from the side, love with the top down with the gold wheels. This, this, this look is, 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 is like a, it's almost like a, um, more of a classy kind of look to it. Love it with the top down. I mean, who wants, who wouldn't want to cruise with this bad boy? Who would want to cruise with the top down all the time with this bad boy? If you got to look like this, this is the way you cruise. Digging this look. Had to show it with the top up just so you can see what it looks like in both stages of goodness. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, the top looks good up. I will rock this thing with the top down 
all the time as much as possible. Even when it's cooler outside, I have to rock it. But yeah, y'all, this is more of a, a classy kind of look to it with the gold wheels on it. Swinging on around to the front, of course, with the top down, just to get a couple of more good shots of that, um, that splitter, how it looks. Yeah, that splitter adds another dimension to the lower edge, to the bottom edge of this, of this car. Love it, love it, love it. I just had to show this angle. You know, I love it. Just a little bit lower shot, just so you can see how those wheels are nice and tucked up under there. Love the backdrop as well. One more shot from the back before we get off into some of the uh, sound clips. And oh yes, we got some sound clips. But y'all, y'all check it out. Wheels, stance, off the charts. Love it. Now, let's get off into how this bad boy sounds. I know we're waiting on that. Now we're gonna take you to the inside of Landon's car. He did an up close and personal uh, a view of his interior and I love how he did this. You get a nice tight shot of everything on the inside. Check it out. Landon, bro, this thing is a straight up convertible beast. I love it, I love it, I love it. Yeah, y'all, this thing rocks. I don't care what you say, this is a nice dog gone vert. Hey Landon, I appreciate you sending your car in the fan rides, bro. Hey, and if y'all didn't know, this right here is his Instagram. Y'all go check it out. Like I'm saying, he's gonna be doing some more work on the interior and the exterior, putting in uh, double den, uh, Alpine working on the stereo system on this bad boy a little bit so y'all go check him out give him a follow give him a shout tell him you saw his car on fan rides all that good stuff but yeah y'all hit him up go check this bad boy out and check out his build and you could even scroll back down just a little bit in his Instagram and check out what the uh, the canary yellow looks like before he put the wrap on it but yeah y'all Landon once again I appreciate you bro sending your car in and if you want to have your car on fan rides, this is what you do. You ain't got to wait for me to contact you. I know that's a lot of people waiting for me to contact them and get up with them so they can send their car in. But you don't have to wait. Send your car in. You, but first, take pictures of the interior, pictures of the engine, pictures of the exterior, all at different angles, just like Landon did, and send them in to this email address right here. And also a little bit of car information if you want your car information put out. You know, the little things that you've done to it, suspension-wise, engine-wise, interior-wise, anything. And yeah, send it to this email address right here, and we'll get your car on fan rides. But hey, episode 86, we still rolling with fan rides, y'all. And if you like that, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell, so you can get that fresh stuff when it comes out. And we'll see you later. Mm -hmm.